right, so now let's take care of the home page. We are going to create a welcome controller and an index action. Uh, normally we'd create a model first, but uh, we don't actually need to uh, store anything in the database for the uh, home page. So all we're going to do is create a controller. So let's just do that manually. Let's go to Sublime and let's go to app controllers and we are going to create a new file save as and i will call this uh, welcome underscore controller dot rb now inside of the welcome controller we're going to create a class of welcome controller and that's going to inherit from the application application controller and let's end that so uh for the index what we need to do is well, first, uh, now that that is done, let's uh, go open our routes file, command T and search for routes. Uh, let's uncomment this line right here, root uh, welcome index, and I'm going to delete the rest. So what this is going to do is uh, make the root of the application go to the welcome controller in the index action. But if we go to our Rails app and refresh, we'll get unknown action error. Uh, the action index could not be found. Okay, so that tells us what to do. Let's uh, do def index end uh, refresh. All right, that takes away the uh, unknown action error, but gives us a new one. The template is missing. So what this means is that it searched for the view file, but it could not find it. So let's uh, go ahead and create that. Under views, let's uh, create a new folder and call this uh, welcome. And then under the welcome uh, folder, create a new file. And we are going to save this as index.html.erb. And notice the index uh, is the same as this def index. So now if we go back, refresh, we get a blank page. But if we inside the index in the view, if I do h1 and say uh, this hells yes, this works. Refresh and that shows up. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So the root of the application is routed to the welcome controller index action. Let's go ahead and start adding content. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the static index.html file and uh, I'm going to copy everything from the div ID background uh, to that closing div. So let's copy that um, and close out of this file and paste that in here. So if I save that, go back and refresh, uh, all that content is now showing up, all the links. Um, let's go ahead and stub out these links for now. Uh, later, we'll add dynamic links based on uh, the routes. Now let's refresh. All right. So these links are all stubbed out, but the content is there. So let's go ahead and add these styles from our static content. And actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the podcast FM static file um, inside of Sublime. So we can just uh, copy and paste from um, one to another. So in the CSS, let's go to the application.css. First off, let's uh, copy everything except the imports. So let's go to, actually, I think I may be getting ahead of myself. Let's do a get status. So we've modified the routes, uh, the controller, and the out of the view. Uh, let's commit this as is. So we'll do git add dot add those files. Now do we get status? Everything's green. So it's ready to be uh, committed. So let's do git commit dash am. And we'll say something like uh, create welcome controller view and routes. All right, git s. So now our branch is ahead of uh, origin master by one commit. That means uh, our local development environment is ahead um, or is out of sync by one commit from github so later we'll push up our changes but for now we're just gonna keep it as is 
So next thing I want to do is uh, copy over the styling. So let's go under app assets, style sheets, application.css. What we're going to do is rename this .css.scss. Um, I'm going to remove all of this. The required tree, basically what that does is it imports all of the style sheets into this. But the reason we're going to remove it is because uh, we want to import stuff in a very specific manner. Uh, for example, if I open up the application.css, if I um, had normalize at the bottom, that could potentially mess things up because uh, this is the reset and then we're doing our styles on top of the reset. So we want to import it in a very specific way. So what we're going to do is just copy everything and paste it in. Um, let's uh, comment out the uh, imports because I think they'll throw up an error since there's no files for that. And then in addition to that, let's create a new file and save as home. Actually, let's save it welcome to uh, make it standard with the welcome controller and welcome uh, view. Welcome.css.scss. Now let's go to home.css and I will select those styles and go to welcome, paste those in. All right. Now let's go to the application at import uh, home. We'll change this to welcome. Now let's go back to our application and refresh. All right. So the styles are working. Obviously the image is not showing up uh, because that has yet to be copied over into the uh, Rails directory. So let's uh, do that. So here I have the uh, podcast.fm static files, and here I have the uh, Rails files. So on this, I'm going to go under App, Assets, Images. We have no images just yet. Let's go to Images here. Um, and we're going to copy over the ones that we're going to use in our application. Uh, these ones for the covers, those are going to be dynamically added uh, through paperclip. So let's just add the banners and the homepage background. So I'm going to copy that and paste those over. So now that that is done, uh, one thing we need to do is uh, we can't use this type of file path in uh, CSS for Rails, we need to change this to an image URL. And then we just do the um, title of the file in quotes. So I'm going to select that and do shift apostrophe and then uh, save that. Now let's go back and refresh. Beautiful. So our styles are taking effect. Uh, let's go ahead and copy over the normalize next to take care of the browser reset. So down in the uh, static files, let's go to normalize, uh, copy everything, now close that. Let's uh, create a new file, save this as normalize.css.scss, uh, paste those in, close that out. Now we can close out the welcome.css. Now let's go down to the bottom and uncomment the normalize. Refresh, that's looking good. Cool, so none of these links work, but this is our Rails application and it's got our styling from uh, the static front end. Okay, now uh, let's go over to our terminal to get status. Uh, we've done quite a lot. So what I'm gonna do is uh, do git um, add dot to add all those files, get status. Now let's do a git commit dash am. And we will say uh, copy over assets and assets and styles from static uh, design from static code how about that all right now we're going to do a git push and let's uh, push up to heroku as well git push heroku master now let's do heroku open and hope that adding the Welcome index fixed our problem from the previous video. So yeah, that uh, we can see we are at Damp Falls uh, 4856.herokuapp.com. Uh, so that did fix the issue we were having before.
Uh, so now that we have defined a uh, the root of our application, it seemed to fix that routing error. So in the next video, we are going to add users, aka podcasts, and allow our application to have people sign in and out.